Welcome back. COVID-19, of course, is still top of mind for leaders all across the state. And it's one of the topics we discussed with Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist this evening as state lawmakers kicked off their first session of the new year. Fresh off a positive COVID test himself this week, Michigan Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist and his family are feeling fine, and that's partly why he's continuing to urge people to get the vaccine. That means kids, that means adults, and, and again, get vaccinated and boosted because that's the way that we prevent people from getting really, really sick from COVID-19. That's been my experience, and that's the experience that can be of folks who do contract Omicron or any other kind of uh, variant of COVID. So we it's going to be really important. Uh, the second piece is that we certainly um, want to appreciate just how healthcare professionals have stepped up in such a huge way, and they're so exhausted, and getting vaccinated is the way to help them. As the Omicron variant continues to surge, just 58% of eligible Michiganders are fully vaccinated, short of the national mark. The Supreme Court is expected to make a ruling on the federal vaccine mandate for most workers soon, and Gilchrist says the state will be compliant with whatever federal regulations come down. So we'll await the results uh, of that legal proceeding, and as far as vaccines, I think people can make the choice to get vaccinated and that everyone who's not yet vaccinated, um, that means they need to hear from someone in their life who is and tell them why it's important. Tackling COVID, of course, an important issue as Michigan takes on the new year. The House will come to order. On Wednesday, lawmakers gathered in Lansing for the first session of 2022. And they walk into the Capitol sitting on billions in federal relief money that still hasn't been allocated. The lieutenant governor says he and Governor Gretchen Whitmer are eager to get to work and are confident things will get done despite a divided government and an election on the horizon. He cites the bipartisan work it took to pass Michigan's new clean slate law and the recently signed economic development package to attract new businesses. Those all happen because Governor Gresham Whitmer and I are willing to work with anybody who cares more about Michigan than politics. And so we're going to do that every single day. And regardless of whether this is an election year or not, we have work to do and we're going to show up every day to deliver. We also asked the lieutenant governor about what excites him most about the year ahead. You can see his response on Fox17online.com.